All right, turning back to weather here, I'm going to start with something I haven't shown in uh, quite some time, and that's the radar. We've got showers, even some thunderstorms to our north. They are going to remain there, but it's interesting to see that we did end up getting a little bit of rain here in California, remnants from a tropical system in the Gulf of Mexico, and that's being pulled around this big area of high pressure and into California. That's why it's tracking off to the north and east there. Again, that's not going to affect us. What we're going to see from this area of high pressure is what we've been seeing, some very hot temperatures, but the end is in sight for the heat wave. This high pressure is going to break down over the next couple of days, and especially as we head into Thursday, nice little upper level trough dropping in. That's going to bring us some cooler weather into the forecast. So only about two more days of dealing with this heat, uh, but that's enough for me. 105 right now in Bakersfield. It's 90 in Tehachapi, so even our mountain area is very hot, close to the triple digits in Lake Isabella there at Kernville. And look at China Lake, 110 over in the desert. Overnight lows tonight, mainly looking at 70s and even some 80s possible uh, in the desert and here in the valley. So it's a very warm night tonight. That's going to set us up for a very hot day again tomorrow. I really don't think it's any cooler than today. I'm going 105 in Bakersfield, close to 90 again for Tehachapi, close to 100 for the Kern River Valley. And just like today, anywhere in the desert, anywhere from about 100 to 110 degrees. Very, very hot still tomorrow. And then things are going to get a little bit nicer. Little bit of wind tomorrow afternoon. But what we're going to see here is as I play into tomorrow night, strong winds in the desert. And those are going to stay pretty gusty into Wednesday. So that's our first sign that we've got some cooler air pushing into Kern County. Temperatures start to fall Wednesday and then really fall on Thursday as that system starts to change here. So uh, let's get back to the seven day forecast. There we go for tomorrow. 105 the high temperature 101 for Wednesday 97 for Thursday and Friday. So the heat wave ends there as long as that forecast verifies and then I don't have any triple digits in the forecast, but it'll get pretty close. But upper 90s is certainly going to feel a lot better uh, than the triple digits that we've been dealing with for the past several days. Same pattern in our mountain areas. Lake Isabella goes from triple digits down to low to mid 90s, a lot more tolerable and mountain areas actually fairly nice by the end of the forecast, low to mid 80s, a definitely more comfortable range of temperature. Nice to see this heat wave finally coming to an end after about five days.